Most of you have probably used oregano dried. It's a very, very common herb to use, especially in Italian cooking. But this is what fresh oregano looks like. And I like to use fresh oregano as well as dried oregano because it adds a little bit of a different flavor. So you'll see that I'm gonna deal with this fresh oregano like I do with a lot of other herbs that have these leaves that are really, really close to the stem, which is to say that I'm holding it with the leaf growth pattern facing away from me, right? So there's the top of the stem and it's pointing away from me. And I'm gonna put my fingers there and then I'm just going to run them down the length of the stem. And there are all those little leaves come off. Now with the ones at the top, I'm gonna go ahead and just pull those off. Cause if I tried to strip at the top, it would end up breaking. And here I am just gonna break. Show you with this other one. Again, we strip. I can actually go a little bit higher still and strip. And pull. It's super, super easy. So now I've got my little packet and you could, you know, potentially use it as is even and not make it even more finely chopped, but let's just see what, what that looks like when we do. I do like to usually take the knife to it at least once. So like with the other herbs that we've talked about before, you just make that little packet. This comes apart a bit more than some of our other herbs might because those are smaller leaves. Just gonna chop down. Smells wonderful and kind of bunch it back up on itself. And you know, I'm gonna actually go ahead and do a second chop on this one. Cause that first one wasn't as efficient. And there you go. Oregano, nicely chopped. Didn't take too long either. <laughs>